Developing this morning, the city of Boulder has shut down an off campus student housing building on University Hill due to safety violations. About 60 CU students had just a few hours to collect their belongings and get out. That's right. 90s reporter Brianna Fernandez is live outside of the Ash House this morning in Boulder. Brianna, this has been a headache for a lot of parents there. Yeah, and you know what? In the last 10 minutes, I actually spoke to someone here. He's a student. He says he lives here. He's from out of state, so he's from California. And I'm like, where are all your stuff? Where are you staying? And he's like, hopefully here tonight. He has nowhere else to stay. All of his belongings are inside. We've seen a couple of students and their parents go inside the building in the last couple of minutes. Now, I spoke to a parent, Paul Hardigan. He says his daughter, he, she received a text message around 145 saying that she had to pack up all her belongings and move out. This all happened yesterday after. Afternoon. So, of course, Paul and his wife, they rented a U-Haul. They drove from Castle Rock to Boulder and they came here to Boulder to help her out. So take a look at your screen. Here's some video that Paul sent me and some pictures as well. So we know that when Hardigan arrived, there were big red signs all over the building that read unsafe, do not enter. The city says that the owners of Ash House, formerly the Marpa House on University Hill, added additional bedrooms without the city's approval. Now, students, along with parents, they all found out yesterday. According to the city, the off-campus housing was approved for 16 three-bedroom units, and after the inspection, the owners added 15 new bedrooms without permits. And based on submitted applications, 48 students were uh, supposed to live in this building. Now, the city's code compliance division was made aware through a tenant complaint. The city says that those rooms were built without electrical permits, land use approval, and life safety inspections. Hardigan says on August 19th, so about a month ago, he found out his daughter could move into the Ash House the next day. When they arrived, he says that there was dust, dirt everywhere. The apartments were just not moving ready. Now 60 students are scrambling to find new housing and 13 will need to find permanent new housing. And like I mentioned, some of these students are out of state, so they don't have help from their parents. If they had pulled the permits and had the inspections, everything would have been fine. I think they tried to pull an end around on the city and these kids who are college students who need a place to stay. And, and I don't think they operated in good faith. I think they tried to pull a fast one on the city and not pay for the permits and not pay for the inspections. And they didn't get a certificate of occupancy. It's hard to think that this is anything but bad behavior driven by greed. Now, Corey Jordan, late last night, I received an email from the property owner's lawyer saying it petitioned the Boulder County District Court to stop the city from enforcing the move out order, saying in part, quote, the lack of communication and due process from the city has deprived management of the opportunity to help residents find an alternate ac accommodations. Now, in that statement, they also said that they uh, said that two inspectors counted the bedrooms and provided no additional feedback, comments or questions during a 40 minute inspection. And that happened last week. So the owners of the house they actually charge uh, the students here two months worth of uh, rent so that's August and September it's still unclear if they're gonna get reimbursed and now no one can come back in or move in move into this property until the building is up to code and you can see that there is some students and some uh, parents here they're just picking up their belongings and hopefully find somewhere to live uh, and stay for the night for now I'm live here in Boulder Brianna Fernandez for nine news what a pain and on such short notice that is so hard to deal with for these families Brianna thank you